A wise man once said, 200,000 tokens are worth 150,000 words, and this bad boy can fit two Bibles in it. But what's the point, you might ask? Well, it is so that Claude can now seek God not just once, but twice. If you haven't heard of Claude 2.1 or Claude in general though, it is an LLM similar to ChatGPT and made by the company called Anthropic. I would say they are the runner up of the best LLM chatbot right now. In the latest update, they announced their chatbot Claude can and now accept up to 200k tokens, doubled since they released their 100k tokens in May 2023. This token amount equates to around 500 pages, which might be just big enough to fit your huge legal documents in it. But don't actually do that. Well, of course, there's the privacy issues. There's no guarantee that your data wouldn't be collected. But most importantly, even if you can input this much text, would it really be capable of understanding all of it? Model hallucination, as the same suggests, is where LLMs would fabricate fabricate facts because it doesn't know about something. This happens because LLMs predicts the most likely outcome for the next token and not necessarily about getting the correct information. However, there are ways to fix that. With this new release, researchers at Anthropic have successfully decreased the chance of AI fabricating facts by 50%, while doubling the input context length. On top of that, they also double the chance of the model declining to answer when asked about something they don't know, which is a very good thing to combat model hallucination. So when asked about some hard factual questions like the fifth most populous city in Bolivia is Montero, the model would rather say, I'm not sure what the fifth most populous city in Bolivia is, rather than elaborate on the incorrect information. The fifth is Oruro, by the way. I asked ChatGPT for the answer, of course. But surely, there's going to be a catch for remembering something with context length this long, right? Well, yes, the location of the information in the 500 pages context window would matter greatly for how well something would be retrieved. There was a paper a while ago called Lost in the Middle which pointed out the trade-off between longer input text with information extraction accuracy and promoted the evaluation of LLM shouldn't be limited to problem solving but also on their ability of discerning and retrieving relevant information within its context window. Claude 2.1 this time also has some overall improvements where its generation error decreased 50% compared to 2.0. However, the majority of the improvements are in the beginning and the middle context window, and the N has around the same performance. But this is probably because the error rate is already pretty low previously, so if you use Cloud 2.1, it would be better to put important prompts or information at the end. Now, for the holy grail question of is this better than ChatGPT, Greg Cameron made a great model evaluation on Cloud 2.1's 200k tokens recall capacities, which is a great non-official evaluation to avoid cherry-picked data. He tested it by using Polgram's essays as background tokens to fill up the context window and inserted random statements into different positions of the input text, then have Claude 2.1 to retrieve the information. You can see from this visualization that he made comparing different context lengths with respect to fact placements in a document. When the context length increases, there appears to have more and more red blocks in a single column, which means the accuracy of retrieval gets lower and lower overall and gets worse across different depth level of the documents. So while there's no overall guarantee guarantee of 100% fact retrieval, there are still near guaranteed recalls at both document extremes, with nearly full accuracy at the top and the bottom of the context window. While keep in mind that this is an extremely difficult evaluation for the LLMs because it is only retrieving a few factual statements out of 150,000 words, which would take around 130 hours for a human to read everything. But ChatGPT once again did not care and crushed the competition by having nearly all greens on this needle in a haystack benchmark, with the max context length of up to 128k tokens, which is around 100,000 words with its GPT-4 128k model. The fact retrieval performance only started to degrade at around 100k plus tokens in document depth between 10% and 50% by a tiny bit. It just shows how good OpenAI is at this language model thing. Anyways, I don't know when it turned into a GPT-4 is great video, but Cloud 2.1 does have other cool new features that's worth mentioning in its 2.1 update. Cloud 2.1 can now utilize tools like using calculators when doing math questions or do some basic APIs to retrieve information. It can now have a function similar to custom instructions for ChatGPT called system prompts, and also it has a better SDK for developers now. And that's about it for this video, thank you for watching. Oh yeah, check out my newsletter if you haven't, the content is basically taken from there. It is much more 
size and has way more information about other papers too. And if you want to learn about the latest AI paper and how they work, you should definitely go and subscribe. A big shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex J, Alex Maurice, Deegan, McWillem, Fifal, Daddy Wen, and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see y'all in the next one.